Hi, this is Brad with LookMold.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can test for black mold within five minutes. Yes, it's possible. However, it does come with some caveats, so you need to watch this entire video. But before we get started, go ahead, hit the thumbs up button, and then hit the subscribe button so you can get an update every time we put out a new video. So a little information about black mold. Black mold is just a media term that refers to one particular type of mold called stacky botrys. Now stacky botrys is by far and away considered the most lethal type of mold, but it's not the only one that's harmful for you. Now most of the time stacky botrys will come in the color black, however it does come in other colors such as blue and gray. Now just because a mold is black does not necessarily mean it's the black toxic mold stacky botrys. If you were to hire a mold inspector like myself to come out to your house and test for mold, there would be a couple different ways that they would test. Now the first way a mold inspector might test your home for mold would be by taking an air sample. Now an air sample will tell you how much mold is present within the air. The next way a mold inspector might test your home is by taking either a swab or a tape lift sample. Now the tape lift sample and the swab both essentially do the same thing. You're just taking a sample of mold directly on a surface. Now the third way they may test your home would be to take a dust sample. Now each of these samples are sent off to a third party laboratory and then they're put under a microscope to determine how much mold and what type of mold is present in those particular areas that were sampled. Now I'm going to tell you a way how you can test for black mold at your home by yourself within five minutes and you don't have to be a licensed mold inspector. Now a company called Healthful Home developed a patented technology that they can test for mold within five minutes. Now they can test for black mold as well as another type of mold called penicillium aspergillus. Now penicillium aspergillus are actually two separate types of mold that are generally classified together. They are found in both environments that could have been water damaged as well as clean environments. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put this up to the test. We're going to take a swab sample the traditional way and send it off to a third party lab to get analyzed and we're going to look at those results and then we're going to take a swab sample with the Healthful Homes kit and we'll see if the results match up. So we pulled back the baseboard and it revealed that mold was present there. Now we're going to determine what type of mold is there by taking a swab with both the Healthful Homes kit as well as a regular swab sample. So let's get to it. Here you have the stachybotrys plate where we're going to test for stachybotrys. And then we have the aspergillus penicillium plate where we're going to test for those two types of mold. And then we have the swab, which is also lubricated. And we're going to go ahead and test for them both. So once we collect the sample, we are going to tilt the top of it both left and right at a 90 degree angle to release the water that's in there. And then we're going to shake it up and we're going to get that nice and watery so we can put it into the plates. So I'm dropping some of it into the stachybotrys plate as well as the aspergillus penicillium plate. And I noticed once I put it in that nothing really happened. Something kind of happened with the penicillium aspergillus one for a little bit, but I realized I probably need to put in some more. So what I did was I went ahead and put in some more and you can see that both of them were starting to fill up. Now, this is the final result. And as you can see, they both kind of look very similar. This was about, I don't know, a few minutes after it, it completed and it looked like the stacky botch line is showing as well as the penicillium aspergillus. But then when I went home later in the evening, it kind of looked like the stacky botrys one showed much, much more than the penicillium aspergillus one. You can't even see the penicillium aspergillus one really anymore. Now the stacky botrys one also is in my opinion, not necessarily clear. I was kind of hoping that it would be a little bit more visible so you can firmly tell that there's an issue but you can see that there is sort of a line in that area. Now, if we go to the lab report I got from the lab, you'll see that there were very high amounts of stachybotrys spore types present. There was none penicillium aspergillus-like spores. 
Um, but Stacky Botchers, there was a real lot of. So that tells me that there was obviously Stacky Botchers there. And the plate that I showed you had Stacky Botchers more so than Aspergillus Penicillium. However, again, I wish the line would have been a little bit more clear. So let's look at the pros and cons of the 5-Minute Healthful Home Mold Kit. Pro number one, you find out instantaneously whether or not you have Stachybotrys or Penicillium slash Aspergillus spore types present. Pro number two, you don't have to send anything to a lab. You get the results there and then, like I said, instantaneous. So no, there are no kind of lab fees or anything like that. Pro number three, it's much cheaper than a mold inspector. Having a mold inspector come to your house can be a couple hundred dollars up towards a thousand depending upon the size of your home. The kit is relatively inexpensive. So now let's look at the cons. Con number one is the results aren't as clear cut as I was hoping it would be. Like I said, that line, it was a little bit visible, but I was hoping it would be a little bit more solid. Con number two, it doesn't tell you if the mold is airborne. Now, if you have black mold, it needs to be removed regardless, but it'll be nice to know whether or not it's actually in the air and you're breathing that stuff in. Con number three, you're probably still going to have to call a mold inspector. And the reason for that is if you're looking to make an insurance claim, the insurance company is going to want to see a report from a licensed mold inspector and not an at-home kit that you took yourself. Con number four, if you think you have black mold, you shouldn't be going anywhere near it. Black mold is toxic and it could affect your health, so you don't really want to put yourself at harm unnecessarily. Con number five, Aspergillus penicillium spore types are also commonly found in clean indoor environments. It's a matter of how much of that is present and what strand of that is present. There are certain types of penicillium that's worse than others or certain types of Aspergillus that is worse than others. So it could, can be deceiving if you get results showing you have Aspergillus slash penicillin. Good news, you have made it to the end of the video and I got a gift for you. I put together a free guide where it's going to help you determine whether or not you have black mold in your home. Now if you do think you have black mold, it's not something you want to take lightly. Black mold can be toxic, so you must take it seriously and contact a professional. Now go to the link below in the description box and you'll be able to get this free guide. This is Brad with LookMold.com and thank you for watching the video. Please leave a comment below and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I possibly can.